Tails. Sonic 2, but Tails. Okay, so we did Sonic, we did Robotnik, now we need to do Tails. Okay, here we go. It's all shapes. So Tails' his head is a square. It's kind of on the side there, that's how we're doing it, but it is a square. More of a diamond. Let's call it a diamond on this way. Now, on the sides, triangles. Yeah? Square, triangles. It's easy, right? Let's carry on. That's an oval. Very, very simple oval there. And just gonna flash those a little bit out there so we know exactly kind of where those are gonna go. Yeah, that's looking about right. Uh, maybe have that in there. But uh, the basic shapes are not gonna move away from what we've got here. It's gonna take this line out here a little bit. There we go. Have a little squiggle. Eyes. One, two. Hair. Come down like that a little bit. Little smile. Then we get to go around and do some proper lines in with that set with fur. Because he is furry. It's going to ease that edge on that one there. Fill in these little holes. Another triangle. And then just, yeah, soften those edges up so they look a bit more furry. It's kind of tailsy already, isn't it? It's coming. I like when you can just start to see the character come through. There we go. Now, body. That's going to be a slightly wonky one. I'm going to do a little bean. Like that. Now, this isn't the exact tails. Like a lot of things we do, this isn't the exact tails. This is my tails. Your tails will be your tails. Doesn't have to be exact. It's just a tails. And going to be one arm there, one arm there coming up, just for fun. Just signal where these things are going to be. You don't have to get them right now. Uh, so just fun. We're going to have, we'll have one leg coming down like that, and another one coming down in behind, up behind, like that. I actually look what his shoes he was. She has. He has. Ugh. Um. Also, that in a minute. And obviously, the main point is his tails. They're going to come in something like that, and there. It's Miles, isn't it? Miles Tails, I think, is his actual name. Bit of artistic license here as well. Furring that sort of thing up. He's, you know, he's coming together. Let's do his, uh, his gloved hands. Got one coming down like that. And this one, oh, I haven't done his actual arm there. There we go. Yeah, followed the line too, uh, too much on that, didn't I? And this one, this one can be. Give it a Now, when it comes to Tails' shoes, I think he's got similar ones to Sonic with the red stripe. Let's. Uh, Let's just go with that. If it's wrong, it's wrong. It's no big deal. Yeah, one red stripe. Maybe you have to press so hard. I'm pressing quite hard there so you can get a nice dark line so you can see that better as I'm drawing it. But it's um, doesn't have to be your line. Doesn't have to be quite as thick as that one. It can be if you want it to be. And then you can tidy up if you want. 
get rid of some of your edges before you're going onto your inking stage. But for me, I think that's as good as I need it to be going on to the inking stage over here. So I'll see you on my digital inking over here. All right, here's our foxy friend, Miles. Now I've looked up some information about him. His name is really Miles Prower. Miles Prower, miles per hour. Get it? It's a joke, funny, it's a joke, it's a joke. Yeah, never mind. He is aged eight, despite having a date of birth that is November 21st, 1992. Which, by my calculations, as of today, should make him about 29. But he's aged 8, so... There we go. He's eternally 8. He's around 80 centimetres tall. So, short. I don't know, how's that like for a fox, but... So I've just drawn those eyes. I'm not really sure about them. I think I might change those eyes. It's uh, sort of more true to the original tales, but I don't think I like them. And it's my drawing, so... I'm going to change them. So anyway, um, Miles' top speed, Tails' top speed, is 768 miles per hour, which is extremely fast. It's obviously why he can keep up with his hedgehog pal. Doesn't say where he got his gloves from. Probably the same place Sonic does. The fox glove shop because fox loves a plot never mind there we go i'm happy with those eyes they're more like my style a few little tweaks there before going on to the body according to sega miles's likes include mint candy and machine maintenance there you go. Might find him in a garage enjoying a lovely mint. He dislikes thunder. Just a reminder to keep your pets and foxes indoors during a thunderstorm. Should, in case they get alarmed and run off at 768 miles per hour. Detailing his two tails there. Now again, I read a rumour. This isn't official. A rumour. Potentially that uh, his two-tail mutation was caused by pollution from Dr. Robotnik's factory. Um, but that would serve Dr. Robotnik right, wouldn't it? That uh, then tails is on the other side. Tails going to help to bring him down. But that's how he goes so fast, isn't it? And obviously how he can fly. So, time for some colour. Orange, I think. Shocking, isn't it? You didn't know it was going to be orange, did you? You, you, you did? Ah, okay. Just got to find the right one. These oranges and yellows. Yeah, that's looking about right. We'll obviously play with this and use our uh, darker oranges for the shadows and put some lighter bits at the top there, which might be a bit more yellowy. Miles per hour. Miles per hour. Yeah? Yeah, it took me a minute. But I'm pretty pleased with this. Yeah, it's, like I said before, it's not the Tails. It's a Tails. It's the Tom Spark Tails. I quite like it. You've got to add a little bit of your own personality into your drawings, I always think. But there are lots of interpretations of Tails. There's uh, some where he's a lot redder as a fox, some where he's a lot more sort of cartoony. Um, yeah, so different different people have different takes on it, and that is great. I'd love to see your takes on it, if you do one. So, uh, Tails obviously first appeared in Sonic 2, the game, rather than the film. But it's quite, uh, I think, poetic that he's going to be in 
Sonic 2, the movie. That works well, doesn't it? Can't wait to see Sonic 2, the movie. It's going to be amazing. The first one was great, though, wasn't it? It's awesome. You know I love it. You know I love it. I've run out of people who can do in Sonic now, actually. And I all know I can do a Knuckles, can't I? Let me know if you think of anything else I can do as well, because that would be cool. I really want to do some more Sonic and Tails stuff. Maybe I'll do one with them both. Be really ambitious. Are any more Sega or Nintendo characters? Video game stuff I'm really getting into, so let me know what you'd like to see on that side of things. But this one's pretty much almost there. I need to do some more highlights on him, but he's got his red shoes on and they're looking good. Don't know if they're particularly accurate to Tails' shoes, but there we go. They're a bit like Sonic-y ones. Maybe he's just borrowed Sonic's shoes. Expect they're around the same size. Hedgehog and Fox feet. Why Sonic Blue? Here we go, so just a few more finishing touches on highlights and shadows. And we are pretty much there. I'm pretty pleased with this. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. What did I get right? What did I get wrong? What should I do next time? Do let me know. I'll definitely come back to you if you uh, give me a suggestion. Good stuff. Literally just finishing touches now. I'm going to put some little bits of blue around the eyes. Sometimes that makes the eyes look a bit more real, a little bit more sort of moist or glassy. But I think I'm pretty happy with this now. Um, uh, it's a good old tales. I hope you like it too. And uh, yeah, do let me know if you do your own tales. I'd love to see them. Until then, I shall see you next time on CaptainFishbeard.com. Oh, if you want to help me out, please do drop a like and subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much.